Hello everyone, and it's time to talk about time. And ah, it's probably one of my biggest pet peeves to see it mispublished when it gets mispublished in the news. And I know this is not an intentional mistake upon the journalist or reporter's part, because there's a lot of terminology in paleontology. But we'll go into some examples later as to why some things sound a little weird to a paleontologist's ear when reading headlines. So when talking about paleontology, we hear the words Paleozoic, Cretaceous, other words like that, thrown around with words like era, period, and epic. So you can have the exact same article with two different headlines. New species of Jurassic era dinosaur found, and new species of Jurassic period dinosaur found. And is there a difference between the headlines? And the answer is absolutely, positively yes. You see the words period, era, epic, words like that, they describe units of time, much like the words city, state, or country describe areas of land. And just like cities, states, and countries, epics, periods, and eras have defined boundaries but can vary in size. And just like how we talk about the political divisions of land, using the wrong combinations of names just sounds wrong. For example, saying Jurassic era would almost be the equivalent of saying the country of Florida. Because just like how a country is bigger than a state, an era is bigger than a period. Now in cases where someone has misspoke, or there is an error in reporting, we usually know what you mean, but it just sounds a little weird. If you are ever in doubt what word to put with the actual name of the unit of time, just stick with the name of the unit of time. For example, you can just say Miocene. There is only a Miocene epoch. There is no Miocene period. There is no Miocene era. And this is unlike political divisions of land where you can have multiple things with the same name. For example, Washington. You can have the state of Washington, Washington, D.C., or multiple Washington counties throughout different states. But we all know there's only one Washington that is the state of Washington. Hashtag West Coast Best Coast. So, how do we organize time? Our largest unit of time is called an eon, and currently we live in the Phanerozoic Eon. The Phanerozoic Eon is where we have the greatest diversity of life, and is usually the eon that most paleontologists study. If we are continuing our land analogy, we can think of an eon as a continent. Now, within the Phanerozoic Eon, we have three eras. They are the Paleozoic, the Mesozoic and the Cenozoic. And further continuing our analogy, we can think of an era as a country. Within each era, we have multiple periods, and we can think of these as states or provinces. For example, in the Mesozoic era, we have the famous Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. Up next, we have epics. And we can think of epics like counties. Using the Paleogene as example, which is a period in the Cenozoic era, we have the epics Paleocene, Eocene, and Oligocene. And finally, our smallest unit of time is called an age. And we can think of an age like a city. So using the late Cretaceous as an example of an epic, and as a side note, Cretaceous is the period but early Cretaceous is an epic, and the division of a late Cretaceous is also an epic. We have the ages Cinnamanian, Turonian, Conuasian, Santonian, Campion, and Maastrichtian. If you'd like a complete overview of geologic time and major events that happened within each period, uh, you can make that suggestion for us in the comments below. So at this point, you might be wondering but how do we get the different divisions in time? Like, why do we draw the boundaries the way we do between the Ordovician and Silurian? Or why is there a boundary between the Ordovician and Silurian? And I say to you, great question. These boundaries are usually the result of something like a massive biotic turnover or event, such as an extinction event, or maybe a change in geological processes. The names and boundaries of all of these time units are set forth by the International Commission on Stratigraphy. We'll link out to their website as well 
as a full time scale in our description. Well, that is it for today's episode. Please remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave us a comment to know how we're doing, or if you would like to see us kind of just talk about something in general like we did today. And as another plug for our mobile app, it is available in the App Store and in Google Play. Thanks for watching. Bye. Time is a valuable thing. Watch fly by as the pendulum swings. Oh wait, I'm getting news from my boss that this is not a Linkin Park music video.